guys, this is our next video as part of the practice test for solutions. So we're up to question number seven now. So we have a size of a parallelogram, which are, um, let's see here, size of a parallelogram, and they are 17 meters and 10 meters. So one this way, 17 meters, come up this way. 10 meters, meters, 17 meters, 10 meters here. So it's like that. We have two diagonals, one here that's longer than the other one, and we have a shorter one here. The shorter one is, uh, ten, is uh, the diagonal is 15 degrees with the longer side. So this is 15 degrees here. Okay, find the length of the longer diagonal. Okay, so here's the longer diagonal here, and we have this. So we're basically, if we just isolate this, what we have here, um, is the triangle looks something like this. Okay, it's going to go here at 15 degrees. This side is 17, and this side is 10. So something like that. So now we have um, two side. We have side side angle application again. So uh, let's take a look here. Okay, so. We want to find the length of the diagonal. Let me call that um, C. We'll call this one A and this one B. So we know B. So we want to find angle A first. So sine of angle A over little a is sine of angle B over little b. So we know this whole fraction. So we know that the sine of angle A is A sine of angle B over side B, and again, this could possibly give us two, uh, two possibilities. Let's see here. Okay, one possibility is A is the inverse sine of A sine B over B, and the other one may be a possibility is Let's call that A1. A2 is 180 degrees minus A1. Plug in the numbers that we have. Okay, let me look back at my drawing. A is 17. B is 10. It's 10, 17. And the angle B is 15 degrees. Okay. So we can do inverse sine of 17 times the sine of 15 degrees. Notice I am in, in degree mode. Divide by 10. Close inverse sine. Alright, this will be the angle in degrees. 26.10339, whatever. Let me store that as A. Okay, so there's our A1. Okay. Now, uh, so now we can find angle C. We'll call it C1. So angle C is 180 degrees minus uh, what we just did, minus the 15, which is 138.8966053 degrees. Let's store that as C. Okay, <clears throat> now let's see what happens. Now actually we know angle C is going to have to be, um, for this to be the longer angle, okay, here, angle C is going to have to be an obtuse angle. So if this is 15 degrees here, 
For this to be the longer diagonal, this is going to have to be obtuse. If it's acute over this way, then the longer, angle, longer diagonal is going to be the one going sideways. So, it's, uh, so actually this is the only, only possibility. There's another triangle here, but it'll end up having a, it'll be the smaller diagonal when we do that one. Okay, so now we need to find side C. C, it, C over sine C, so I multiply both sides by sine C, is B over sine of B. So multiply both sides by sine of C, and B was, uh, 10. And angle B is 15 degrees. And C is that angle right there that we've got stored as C. So 10 sine of C divided by sine of 15. And this will be the answer. 25.40075. So about 25.4, and it looks like our units are meters. So about 25.4 meters. There is another triangle solution like that, but it's going to have, uh, when you do the 180 minus A there, that's 153 degrees. So 180 of course, minus that answer, um, minus the 15, is going to leave an acute angle of 11 degrees. And if we had an 11 degree angle there, uh, definitely not. Uh, th then you have, then you're in a situation where you got a 15 degree here and 11 degree here. Then in fact, um, we get our, our uh, parallelograms going like this, and that's going to be the shorter diagonal right there. So that one's still good. Okay, moving on. Number eight, complete the, the statement, which is law of cosine. C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine of angle C. You should have that memorized. Next question, solve the triangle here. All right, now we're in the side angle side situation. Okay. And we can find the other side, side B in this case, is uh, the square root A squared plus C squared minus 2AC cosine of angle B. And so we've got all the information we need for that. A is the 14.4. Or C is the 11.5. And angle B is 103 degrees. So we just type those in. Uh, I can actually, let me, let me do this. It's optional to do this, but I'm going to take the 14.4. Try again. 14.4 and store it as A. And the 11.5 and store it as B. So those are the sides. And so then I get the square root of a square plus B square minus 2A. I'm sorry, that 11.5 should have been C. Let me just go ahead and do that right. 11.5 store is C. Okay, let's try again. Square root of A square plus C square minus. 2AC times the cosine of the 103 degrees. 
and this is B, so let me store that as B. Okay, so that's about 20.3, so that's B. Now let's find some angles. Um, I prefer to use law of cosines to find angles when I can. So C is the inverse cosine of A squared plus B squared minus C squared over 2AB. And since I have these all stored now as A, B, and C for the sides, I can just work this out pretty easily. Um, one of the degree angles was given in degrees, so I'm going to use... Uh, I'm going to use degrees for everything, so I'm in degree mode. Make sure you put the open parentheses there, so there'll be one open for the inverse cosine, this one, and then one open for the uh, numerator. And then A squared plus B squared minus C squared divided by, notice so I close the numerator, open the denominator, 2AB uh, close close, and this will give us angle C, 33.4104232 degrees, okay, 33.4 degrees, uh, 33.5 degrees, hmm. that's not good, I have a feeling they rounded off in the middle of a calculation like they shouldn't have, do not like that. Let me check my calculations here. A, right, C, B, I wonder if they did this. If they did this with a B of 20.3, they shouldn't have. That's 33.6. Let's go back and do it. should be with got to make sure I did B right square root of a square plus C square minus 2 times a times C times cosine and B was 103 degrees. Make sure that's right. Yeah. That's right. And I am in degree mode. And what did I have for B? That's what I have for B. Okay, so um, inverse cosine of A square plus B square minus C square divided by 2 times A times B yeah it's 33.4 they've made a mistake there which is uh, not good and of course then if I subtract I should be able to find the other angle so I should be able to find 180 minus our previous answer minus the 103 and this should be the remaining angle which rounds off to 
So that's off just a little bit. That's disturbing, but okay. We're going to go ahead. Okay, so this one they've given us A and B and C, all three sides. Okay, so we can find the, the angles. Okay, what question are we on? We're on question 10. Uh, for example, angle C is the inverse cosine of A squared plus B squared minus C squared over 2 times A times B, like that. So I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to store these as A, B, and C, and then I'm just going to use the letters. So 10 is stored as A. Uh, 14 stores B. It's optional. You don't have to do it this way, but I, I like to do it this way. 19 stores C. And then now I want to do the inverse cosine of A squared plus B squared minus C squared divided by parentheses. 2AB. This will be the first angle. 103.4 degrees if I go to that many places. Angle B. Uh, angle B is very similar, but we replay, we sw switch B and C here. So this one should be alpha C. This should be B, and this one down here should be C right there. And I, again, I have everything stored. Those are side links, lowercase. So this is the angle there, 45.8 degrees. And similarly, we can take that to find angle uh, A. Uh, this, this should be B and C for the positive ones. A for the negative one here, and then the two, the one that's opposite. We're looking for angle A, so the A is the one with the minus, and the A is the one that's not in the bottom, so you should have B and C here. Of course, we could also have found that one by just subtracting 180 minus the other two. So it runs off to 30.8. Okay, let's keep going here. Jan and Dean start hiking from the same location at the same time. Jan hiked 4 miles per hour with a bearing of north 12 degrees east. Dean hiked at 4 miles per hour with a bearing of north 31 west. How far apart were they after 3 hours? Well, let's first of all find the distance. Distance 1 and distance 2. So, Jan... And Dean, let's see. Jan hiked four miles per hour for a total of three hours. Hours cancel. We get he went or yeah she went twelve miles. And Dean uh, also was four miles per hour for three hours. Again, also went twelve miles. So they went the same distance but they're going different directions. So they started from the location right here. This is north, south, east, and west. Okay, and Jan was north 12 degrees east. So this is 12 degrees. Okay, and this is the, ve the uh, displacement vector here, goes to there, and that is 12 miles long. And the Dean went north 31 degrees west, so 31 degrees here, also went 12 miles. So notice if we look at this triangle, that angle at, uh, we'll call it C, is uh, 12 plus 31 is 43 degrees. Okay, so that's the uh, 
that's that angle and we have this so we have side angle side how far apart are they we'll call this distance c so c is the square root of a squared plus b squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine of angle c should memorize the law of cosines there and we know this a is say we call this one guy a and this one b a and b are both 12 so 12 squared plus 12 squared minus 2 times 12 times 12 times the cosine of 43 degrees. So, square root of 12 square plus another 12 square minus 2 times 12 times 12 times the cosine of 42. We're in degree mode, so I don't need a degree symbol. And the answer is, uh-oh, Oh, missing a square. Right there. Yes. About 8.6 miles. 12 square 12. Forty-three northeast, northwest, forty-three degrees. Oh, I have 42. Got to type things in right. Type them in correctly, and then you'll get the right answers. 8.8 so .8 miles. Next question.